Hi everyone, I am Lynette Sharon. In the previous video, we have learned how to import opening balances into ERP Next. In this video, you will learn what are sales and purchase invoices and how do we create them in ERP Next. In most company, many people from different departments are involved to fulfill an order from the client. Someone from the sales department will collect details like what goods need to be processed, where they need to be delivered, when they need to be delivered, etc. These details are captured in the sales order. Then, someone from the warehouse will actually prepare and ship these goods to the client. These details are captured in the delivery note. Someone else from the accounting team is responsible to add details like the tax IDs, payment terms, etc. These details are recorded in the sales invoice. Well, this ensures that responsibilities are defined on what each person specializes in. So multiple records are created by each party involved. A sales invoice is a formal document that is sent to the client with details of goods and services, prices, terms and conditions and other payment terms. The sales invoice serves two purposes. First, it contains details that the client needs so that it can be printed and then sent to them. Next, it contains details that are necessary to update the books of accounts like income accounts, receivable account, cost and income center, accounting dimensions, number of salespeople involved, etc. Also, once a sales invoice is submitted, the income and the receivable account are updated. A purchase invoice is a document created on receipt of the sales invoice from a vendor. It contains the details as mentioned in the sales invoice by the vendor like details of the goods and services, prices, taxes, payment terms and other terms and conditions. It also contains details like expense and payable accounts, cost centers, accounting dimensions, etc. Once the purchase invoice is submitted, the expense and payable accounts are updated. To view the list of sales invoice from home, click on Accounting and then on Sales Invoice under Accounts Receivable. You can also type Sales Invoice in the awesome bar and click on Sales Invoice list in the results shown. Click on Add Sales Invoice and enter details like the customer, billing address or shipping address, then add details of goods and services being offered like item, quantity and rate. Then select the sales taxes and charges template, the payment terms and the terms and conditions. You can also enter details of the sales team or sales partner involved. If needed, you can also update details like the income account, cost center or project for each item individually. Finally, save and submit the sales invoice. To view the list of purchase invoice from home, click on Accounting and then on Purchase Invoice under Accounts Payable. You can also type Purchase Invoice in the awesome bar and click on Purchase Invoice list in the results shown. Click on Add Purchase Invoice and enter details like the supplier, 
billing or shipping address, contact person, then add details of goods and services being received like item, quantity and rate. Then select the purchase taxes and charges template, the payment terms and the terms and conditions. If needed, you can also update details like the expense account, cost center or project for each item individually. Finally, save and submit the purchase invoice. Hope you found this video helpful in understanding how to create sales and purchase invoice in ERP Next. You can read more about ERP Next at docs.erpnext.com. In our next video, you will learn how to manage your taxes in ERP Next.